The outcome of the fighting on July 12th in the central direction did not satisfy the 4th Panzer Army command. As the Soviet mobile reserves have not been destroyed, Prokhorovka station was not captured and the 69th Army was not surrounded. While Panzer Grenadier Division Totenkopf was able to gain a larger foothold in the Pacelle and Dice Reich repulsed all enemy attacks, LAH was forced to withdraw several kilometers from the outskirts of the station, leaving Otobrensky and Hill 252.2 behind. On July 13th, Adolf Hitler announced the early termination of Operation Citadel to commanders of Army Groups South and Center. The reason for this decision was the failure of the offensive by the 9th Army under Walter Model on the northern face of the Kursk salient. More problems began to emerge as well, such as Allied troops landing in Sicily on July 12th, as well as the threat of a Soviet offensive from the Dantes Front. The loss of Donbass could cause dire consequences for Germany. At daybreak on July 14th, units of the 4th Panzer Army went on the offensive from the north and south, heading towards each other. The northern group consisting of Panzer Grenadier Division Das Reich and the 167th Infantry Division was supposed to strike in three directions. After breaking through and capturing Belenico, Das Reich was supposed to move on and try to make it to Prokhorovka to capture it by surprise. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to more IL-2 tank crew in the Last Chance campaign. This is mission number eight. Let's go ahead and get our engine started. As you can see, we are in a Panzer III today. We are no longer in the Panzer IV. I'm gonna get autopilot started as well, so our driver will follow the platoon that's up in front of us. And we are going to switch stations. This is the gunner station where we have our five centimeter cannon here, which is quite nice. and. Yeah, it's a, it's a little cramped in here compared to uh, the Panzer IV. It is a smaller tank, but it should be quite interesting. And as you can see, we are booking it down this road. Let's go ahead and close this hatch. The next position is the commander's position, which is quite similar to what we have seen in the other German tanks. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at what is going around on around us. We are heading towards Belenico. Our goal is to capture that and then move on towards Prokhorovka Station as kind of a last ditch attempt to uh, capture it. And there are quite a few of us heading out. There's how many Panzer III's up ahead? Yeah, it looks like four Panzer III's and then we have quite a few behind us as well. Lots of smoke up in the distance. I do believe that is our destination, the town that is smoldering at the moment, which yeah, Belenico is where we are currently heading now. Uh, it should be uh, interesting getting in there. It looks like we'll go up this mighty large hill. This tank is less armed and armored than the Panzer IV, so it'll be interesting to actually use it here. Let's go ahead and also tell my platoon to move by mission. It looks like we're halting here. We'll see. I haven't played with the Panzer III a whole lot in tank crew, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. This Cheetah 1, I see enemy abandoning positions and retreating to the east, so... As they saw us coming and they're heading out. Looks like we have some half-tracks behind there. Ordered to hold position and defend the northern part of the station. Okay. Now it looks like we're breaking to the left. I'll have my driver continue to follow the mission parameters until we get into any action. I am going to order um, my gunner pretty much fire at will, fire at ground targets at will. We currently have armor piercing high explosive loaded up. We have 28 rounds of that, 28 rounds of APCR, and 28 rounds of high explosive. I think the APCR will be very helpful if we come across any heavily armed or armored tanks like the T-34. I'm hoping we don't encounter anything like that in this mission because I don't know how well that's going to go <laughs> if we're fighting off a horde of T-34s. And it looks like we're breaking to the left. There's Focke Wolf 190s out and about somewhere. We'll see. This is Belenico. Here it is. Doesn't look like there's very many Russian positions in the town itself. Yeah, just a lot of busted out tanks and hulks. There's the uh, FW-190s. 
So they dropped their bombs on something out there. Oh, yep, there they go. Let's check up ahead and see if there's anything going on up in front. Artillery spotted. 12 o'clock, this is 400 meters. Okay, I am going to switch autopilot off. Let's get moving. It looks like my gunner is already taking aim. If you fire, go ahead. Go go wild. All right, we're going to move up and get closer. Okay, more targets up ahead. Let's move up. I'm actually going to formation control. I want them to change formation. Echelon right. And medium distance, please. Okay, let's move up. Don't want this first platoon to get all the glory. What do we see up ahead? Probably AT guns, so I do want to slow down. That yeah, looks like what they are. Looks like that gun just absolutely ate it, so not much of a concern. Alright, forward ever so slightly. Don't want to run into a nasty surprise yet. Okay. Stop. Alright, fire gunner, fire. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Got one more sitting there. Target destroyed, good hit. He's using armor-piercing high explosive. I am going to switch that here momentarily. Okay, perfect. Good job. We'll switch to high explosive for the time being. All right, forward. More aircraft buzzing around up ahead. Are those all friendlies? Yeah, those are still Falk Wolves just providing close air support for us. One is getting shot at by anti-aircraft guns over there. That's good to know. We may encounter some of those. It's probably some artillery positions or something like that where that uh, anti-aircraft fire is coming from. Let's see. How many rounds did we use? Only two rounds of armor-piercing high explosive, so we still have 26. Good. This tank can actually hold quite a lot of ammo. It's partially because just the rounds are generally smaller, and we have targets up ahead. A whole boatload of trucks. Okay. Get in. Get on the gun. The time to go ham. Unlock the turret. Bring it down. Okay, increase range to probably one kilometer. Thereabouts. Maybe a little far. Oh my gosh, my... Fire. See if that gets it. Good hit. Okay, the guy in the bow machine gun's firing. This gun has... A very short reload time compared to what we've been used to. All right, advance. Do have that truck there that's just steaming. I think we can call that destroyed. Not 100% sure, though. Looks like there's dust being kicked up off to the right there. Oh, hello. Cut me off. Where's my horn? Time to switch positions, apparently. Avoid a collision. That was rude. Anyway, yeah, we pretty much decimated that little convoy on the road there. I'm sure those were the retreating units. Let's see what else we have. Thought I saw some anti-aircraft fire, but can't be 100% sure exactly where that was coming from. Still have quite a bit of ammo left. Another Falk Wolf off the 3 o'clock. That flight's still lingering around. So far, no enemy aircraft spotted, as far as I can tell. Doing rather well. Oh yeah, that whole convoy was just annihilated by the looks of it.
Okay, I'm seeing the anti-aircraft fire. It looks like it's in that little valley up ahead. So I am anticipating enemy position. Oh, there's a truck. Okay, so we have a truck. We have anti-aircraft guns. Those are certainly Russian positions. What do we have loaded? High explosive, that should do. All right, let's go, boys. I'm gonna try to play a little more aggressively here. I think if we get up on, oh, uh, we'll just head up straight. It looks like there's a hill here where we can sit on and fire down into the valley. I think that'll work out rather well for us. Fighters close, apparently. Looks like our flyboys have encountered some resistance now. I'm not seeing anything going on. Someone just fired. Which is mildly concerning. Yeah, someone just fired again. I don't see who's doing the shooting. Okay, stop. Who's doing who's up to that? Okay, that one. He's probably has a good sight line into that valley and that's what he's firing at. Yep, there's smoke coming out there. That's what he was shooting at. Okay, let's get up there. Hopefully there's no tanks up ahead. The rest of my platoon is following slowly behind. They're not as eager as I am, evidently. Lots of smoke coming up, though. Let's see if they're all gone. And we should have visibility on the targets now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, halt. Okay, Gunner's unlocking the turret. I'm gonna have him lay down some fire. See what he gets. Yeah, it looks like. Okay, that was close. Good hit. He's transitioning. I'll let my Gunner do it. He's firing a little long. Come on, pal. Oh. No need to move. I think we're in a pretty good spot. He keeps aiming long. Reduce it by like 50 meters. They're running away, which is an understandable thing to do. There we go. One more destroyed. Next in line. Come on. You got it. There's a few trucks out there. Looks like the first platoon is caught up. Start advancing. Oh, our gunner's a good shot. Took out a few of them there. I think I'm going to take out these trucks, though, just for good measure. Don't want the enemy reusing them. Also, it'll let me get a little practice with the Panzer III's gun. Okay, unlock the turret. There we go. Um, I don't know about one kilometer just yet. We'll just fire get up nice and close to them and fire at these trucks. Reduce our chances of missing. How many rounds do we have? 15 rounds. I guess we could blow them up with uh, the machine gun. Okay. Uh, we'll get even closer. Reduce range to like 500 meters. Okay, halt. All right, truck number one. Let's see if we get it. Hit. Next. Next target. We'll I'll just take this one out. Hit. And last one. There's another truck right here. Oh, hello. They're not worried about the trucks. Okay. That's all of them. All right. Open this up. And continue to move forward towards the town here. We're getting awfully close. It looks like we're just going to follow this main road all the way up to the target area. Hopefully there's no enemy tanks in there. And that's really what I'm worried about. 
Um, if there's T-34s or KV-1s, I think we're going to have a rough time. We'll have to probably flank around and go about it. Is that guy missing a piece of his side skirt? No, he's not. It looked like it for a second, like he was missing a chunk, but he is not. Everyone looks fine. No one's dropped out. My platoon keeps... I guess they're kind of going off and doing their own thing. They're not as close as I would like. I'll, I'll break off a little bit and head towards them, however. Overall, this has been a pretty fun mission, actually using the Panzer III. We've been using some pretty good and heavily armed and armored tanks recently, so uh, it's cool to see the other side of the spectrum, at least what we have available in game. Okay, aircraft, that, those don't look friendly. I think that's the air threat. Yep, those are IL-2s. Not excited about that. Want to get in and hopefully they don't drop uh, P tabs or anti tank bomblets on top of all of us. Let's keep moving. Try to look through the visor. I don't want to accidentally ram one of my friendlies. Okay. I think the IL 2s just flew right overhead. They may have another target. Yep, they're continuing on their way. Not a threat. Oh, that was close. That could have ended in disaster for sure. Okay. These guys are not the best drivers. Let's keep... We'll go around the side here. It's pretty cool uh, having this little tank be so fast as well. Compared to what we... Again, compared to what we've been driving. Okay, we've reached initial positions. Ready to attack... Vino Gradovka, provide fire support. Okay, my gunner has spotted something. Artillery, 12 o'clock, 1,300 meters. I see him. Oh, he got it. First shot. Good job. That was one hell of a shot. Yeah, those are AT guns. There's one there that's still manned. I can see the guys on it. And yeah, it's destroyed. Okay. Advance. 10 rounds of high explosive left. I think it I think it's time to switch to armor piercing high explosive except especially because we are beginning the assault on the town. If there's any tanks in there, I don't want to be caught with my pants down. So, ammunition to the platoon, armor piercing high explosive. Go ahead and get that loaded up. It's actually cool also commanding the tank like sitting in the commander position and really just ordering my guys around. And I think the town up ahead just got bombed to smithereens. Did not see the planes come in, but yeah, those were definitely bombs going off in it. Let's see, there's lots of machine gun fire. Okay, these other Panzer threes behind me are firing with machine guns way out there over yonder into the town. Apparently they saw something. I see a truck or a little little car. Not seeing a whole lot just yet. And there's a small tank. It looks like a T-70 possibly. Halt right here. I'll let my gunner assess the situation. If he has a shot, he'll fire. Yeah, that's a tank right there. And to the right of those uh, hay bales. Oh, hello. All right, advance. Let's go. No T-34s or anything like that. As far as I can tell. Or... It's probably artillery, if I'm going to be honest, hitting that town. That's pretty cool. Okay, gunner has acquired another target. I'll stop. Gonna sign. We see them. If we see any targets, I'll stop so my gunner can get a good beat on it. it. Looks like he's continuing to track something out there. It's actually pretty cool. You can see them reload the gun and everything. Also, smoke will start to build up in the tank itself and. You can actually poison your crew from all the fumes. Uh, tank crew is pretty detailed. 
Okay, I see something moving out there on the on the distance. It looks like a truck. Halt. Fire, fire, fire. Please fire at something. Go ahead. There you go. Here. See the smoke in there, and then they load the shell. Rapid fire. See the shell casing get ejected. It's pretty sweet. This is uh, something we don't really see a whole lot. Uh, the way we've been playing from the gunner's view. And also, this 5 centimeter cannon is just can fire very rapidly. Okay, advance. The rate of fire is extraordinary compared to uh, what we have been using. Obviously, it mostly has do, to do with its size. It's a more manageable round. Okay. Keep advancing. Apparently we destroyed a T-70. Good work, boys. Okay, slowly advance. I'm not seeing anything yet. Looks like there's some trucks off to the right. I'm just trying to look. See what's going on. There's another T-70 there. I guess it's out of commission. Come on. What's, go what's going on? I'm going up a slight incline. Okay. I guess the tank... The town has been captured. Hopefully it's safe to come up here. All right, let's enter the town. We'll creep in nice and easy. Really no enemies are lurking in any of these houses with AT guns or anything like that. It would not end well for me or my crew, especially as I'm standing on top of the tank here, unbuttoned, pretty exposed, a little bit of lag. Like the rest of the platoon is advancing as well. Let's slow it down. Wonder if this will be the final objective for the mission. T-70's cooking. That's always concerning when they just sit there like that. Abandoned. Okay, task complete. Mission accomplished. See some of the busted guns here. What's next? Oh, that's it. That's the mission. All right, cool beans. Well, it certainly was cool to mess around in the Panzer III, a tank that I haven't really played a whole lot, and it was also fun to really primarily use the commander's position. Apparently, we were hit. We have a couple of impact rounds here. I don't remember getting hit. Not sure exactly what hit us. Interesting, but overall, a pretty fun, pretty fun little tank. Lots of fun. I did enjoy using it. And you can see the rest of the Panzer threes are rolling into town. Neat. Okay, well, I'll end the mission and we'll see how we did all together. Okay, and here we go. Mission accomplished. We ended up destroying seven vehicles, six transports, one lightly armored vehicle. That was probably that T-70 and four cannons. I think this may have been the most we've destroyed in one mission, uh, playing as the Germans anyway, but I, I'm not 100% sure on that. Let's go ahead and finish, and I'm curious to see what we are up to. So we've currently destroyed 30 vehicles and 17 heavy weapons altogether, so a pretty good tally thus far. I'm curious to see what we will end up with. Anyway, we have mission number 9 and then mission number 10 left, and it looks like mission number 9... I think we'll be in a Panzer III once again, so I'm actually pretty excited to try that out. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. I was interesting using the commander position a bit more than I normally do, and kind of a lot of fun. It's just another way you can play a uh, tank crew, so I figured I'd show it off. Anyway, that's all I really have for today. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like as it really helps out the channel. But for now, that's all I have. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.